Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat One. If you watched my last video, you know American Girl is releasing the most unusual Girl of the Year items. It's these Wicked Alphaba and Glinda outfits. Akavi is a big fan of musicals, and of the Wicked musical in particular, so these costumes would totally fit in her collection. We've never had anything like this before though. I'm recording this video on Friday, June 2nd, and right now they're on American Girl website, and you can actually purchase them. You'll be watching this video on June 3rd, or later. I'll put the links to both of these costumes in the description box below. It wasn't easy to find them on the website. If you're watching this video on June 6th, then it's probably going to be pretty easy to find them, but you can still use the links in the description. Now let's take a closer look at the costumes and talk about them. American Girl is also releasing a Hogwarts Express and a candy trolley, and they're also on American Girl website right now. I'll be posting a video about them either later today or tomorrow. Be sure to check it out. And by the way, if you're new to this channel and interested in all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Now let's take a look at the images on American Girl website. Each of these costumes retail at $79, and each of them comes in a beautiful box. I'm actually surprised they're not limited edition. We're going to start with the most striking one, Alphaba Outfit. Kavi's favorite musical is Wicked, and she can't believe she finally gets to see it on Broadway with her grandmother and two best friends, Perry and Sophie. This authentic replica of Alphaba, the Wicked Witch costume designed in collaboration with Wicked, brings Kavi's Broadway dreams to life. Premium Features a black lace top with a high neckline, rainbow underlay, lace ruffles at the shoulder and wrists, a black cape that attaches to the top with a button, and a full skirt with tiered asymmetrical tulle ruffles and a multicolored underlay, a black tonal print which hat that curves to the side at the top, um, also includes a broom with a handle so dolls can hold it, and a pair of black lace-up style boots. I'm super impressed with this costume. It is pricey for sure, it's more than $80 with tax, but it seems to be super detailed. I'm not crazy about how the broom is plastic, but everything else is perfect. And by the way, I'm going to American Girl Store next week, so I'll probably unbox it for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to that video. It looks like they used a really nice material for the hat. I can see some sort of pattern on it. I think it's meant to imitate snakeskin. It has so much personality. I love how the outfit is made out of lace, but then there's a rainbow pattern underneath. I think it looks so cool. And the boots of course also look pretty detailed. Let's take a look at Glinda's outfit. It's not quite as spectacular as Alphaba's, but it's still beautiful. It's definitely similar to the one from the Broadway musical. Kavi's grandmother, Dodima, gives Kavi the best birthday surprise, tickets to see Wicked on Broadway. Uh, this replica of Glinda the Good Witch costume, designed in collaboration with Wicked, brings Kavi's Broadway dreams to life. Premium features, an icy blue sparkle print satin dress with a sweetheart neckline, a stand collar with a ribbon, a tulle trimmed bodice, tulle puff sleeves, and a long voluminous skirt with cascading scalloped layers. Also includes a silver necklace with blue rhinestones, a silver tiara embedded with blue rhinestones, a silver scepter embedded with blue rhinestones that dolls can hold, a pair of kitten heel blue satin shoes with open backs and ribbon bows at the toes. I'm really curious if the tiara and wand are plastic or metal. I believe the Sugar Plum Fairy's accessories were metal. So for that price, I'd expect Glinda's accessories to be metal as well. The outfit looks really nice. We finally got to see what the shoes look like, and they are very pretty. 
Again, I'll probably be buying this outfit as well and unboxing it for you. So if you have any questions you'd like to get answered about these two outfits, please let me know in the comments below. I know dark outfits from American Girl sometimes stain dolls, so I'm really hoping it's not the case with Elphaba's costume. It's really beautiful and I'd hate to have a dye transfer. That's it for today, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time!